Everybody, this is your girl Deborah Coco, and we are live today. We are here at the Sheraton Hotel on 53rd Street and 7th Avenue, covering the Black Expo 2016. Big shout out to the founder of the organization, Mark Anthony, for putting this whole event together. We're going to walk around. We're going to introduce you to some vendors, to some people with their own businesses. We have some artists, clothing designers. We have Carl Kanai is going to be in the building today, and we also have Tanya from Orange is the New Black. So we're going to walk around and talk to a couple of people. Let them introduce themselves to you and let and let you know what they do okay so we'll be right back with more again again this is deborah coco all grind entertainment just give me the mic blacksmith grind king we are here today and we'll be right back with more hello everyone i'm standing here with Tanya Wright, the founder of From Orange is the New Black, and she also have this wonderful product that she's about to introduce to you and let you know all about it. Yeah, well, thank you so much. My name is Tanya Wright. I play the role of Crystal Bursette on Orange is the New Black, and I'm here today at the expo with my hair care line. It's called Harriet. Harriet. <laughs> like that. Thank you. Uh -huh. For women with natural hair, our hair care products are, are all natural, and they're made with fruit and oil, cocum butter, which is a fruit from India, and marula oil. It's a very lightweight dry oil right. we got three products okay we got a yummy co-wash those y'all y'all know about co-washes y'all natural sisters it's a tell me about it i don't know oh, okay yeah. it's a creamy latherless conditioner and wash okay so you put it in your hair in the shower you work it through uh -huh. you let it sit for a couple minutes and then you rinse it out makes your hair real nice buttery soft oh i need that yeah <laughs> i need that and this is the curl cream so this is what i have in my hair now it just makes it naturally curl it's not oily it's, it doesn't weigh it down no it's no crunch no white flakes Good. so this is the curl cream it moisturizes and shines and defines your hair looks beautiful thank you Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Your existing curl. So it's not going to make your hair curly unless you have naturally curly hair. It's going to enhance what you have. You already your exactly. curl pattern. Exactly. All right. And, and, and you know, we can manipulate the curl pattern by doing twist outs and braid outs and all those things. So the curl, curl cream is great for that. Okay. And then this is the oil. People love the oil. It's they a very do. lightweight. Why is that? Okay. The smell. Smell it. Oh, it does smell Yes. Good. Yeah. Um, it's very lightweight, dry oil. You can use it on your scalp, your ends. You can even use the oil on your body. Wow. Okay. And the last piece that we have today is this book. This is a collection of spiritual principles I learned from my hair, like patience. Yes. And resilience. Right. And letting go. And, and letting, how, letting yes. be free, right? right? Right. And how I apply those principles to my everyday life. Oh, wow. So today, people get the bundle and an autographed book for about $10 off the normal price just oh, for the New York Black great. Expo. And where can they find it online? I know you have a website. Yes, I do. It's Harriet. Hair, like Harriet. H-A-I-R-I-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Along the top. You yes. See that? Okay. Harriet.com and follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and I'm all Tanya T.T. Wright on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay. Thank you so much thank for you. telling us about your product. And make sure you support. We'll be right back with more. And thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Hi, everybody. I'm standing here with Andrea from Total Life Changes. And she has a booth today at the Black Expo. And she's gonna, I'm going to pass the mic and let her tell us a little bit about her company and the benefits of it. And because we all like to be healthy, we're moving into that, right? The generation is kind of moving towards being more healthy. So let us know about your company. Yes, um, the company is Total Life Changes. It is a health and wellness company. We also have skin care um, and nutrition products. Um, our flagship product is our IASO tea. It's, people call it a miracle tea. Ooh. But it is actually a detox tea. Okay. It cleanses your kidneys, your intestines, your colon. Um, and of course, once it's getting all that waste out, it helps you lose weight. Lose weight. I've actually right. done it, and within five weeks, I've lost 22 pounds. Wow. Yes. Um, along with that, I like to use the Nutriburst, which mm -hmm. is a liquid multivitamin. Um, it has all of your vitamins, your nutrients, your minerals in it. Um, it's just one teaspoon of that every day. So with the tea, do you drink it, you know, one pack a day? How do well, you mix it with one water? Pack, How does it work? One pack makes a gallon of tea. Uh -huh. um, you boil your quart of water, let it boil, put your tea bags in. There's two tea bags in the pack. Okay. Um, put your tea bags in. 
cover it, turn it off, okay. let it sit for four to eight hours. I like to let mine sit a bit a little bit longer. Okay. Um, then you combine that with the cold water that's left in your gallon, mm -hmm. and it makes a gallon that lasts for about seven or eight days. Oh, and you and drink, you drink, it. You drink um, an eight ounce glass with lunch mm -hmm. and an eight ounce glass with dinner. Oh, good, great. So it can last more than one day. Yes. When you okay, that one great. pack lasts about seven to eight days. Oh, wow. Um, I sell them individually, uh -huh. or you can buy a month supply. And all natural. All natural. All natural. Everything okay. we have is all natural. Everything is yes, all natural. Okay. Yes, now, how can they find out more about? Is there a website, or do you have your own? Yes, the website. Um, my website is www.totallifechanges slash Andrea Adams. That's A N D R E A A D A M S. Great. Thank you for joining us. Thank Make you sure you check me. it out. And I'm actually going to probably get some tea too because I got hair products now I got to check out <laughs> and get some tea. So I'm going to leave here straight today, okay? We'll be right back with more footage, y'all. Thank, Thank you. Hello, I'm standing here with Carol Lloyd of Brown Girl. And she's going to tell us a little bit about some of her artwork that she's done and her pieces that she's put together. And I'm going to move out the way so you can see her lovely work that she has here displayed at the Black Expo. Okay. Hi. How are you again? I'm great. My name is Carol. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the creator of Brown Girls. What I wanted to do was create something from, you know, the young girls age of six all the way up. To me, I'm a black woman, there's nothing more beautiful right. than a black woman. Right. And the beauty of us is that we come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Yeah. So, this is what I wanted to create. What I try to do, these are all handmade. You want to hold it because I don't want to okay. block you. Okay, there you go. These are all handmade. I make them out of construction paper. Okay. Uh, from, you know, I, I started drawing the human form the clothes and what I try to do is I embellish them I put beads on them I, I cut out uh, paper paper to make the shopping bags uh, and this is what I have done right here um, I try to depict I even have a big girl over here because I don't want to uh, leave anybody out I have a brown brother in here uh -huh. because black love is another thing that's beautiful. You have another beautiful one back here too with the couple on. Yes. This is one that I'm I, yours. I like that. Yeah. This is one that I call the power couple. Nice. nice. Right here. Got the key and everything. Love yes. That. I made the suit. You know, threw a flower on it, and they out for the evening. That's this couple right. right here. Love that. Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how did you get started? What made you decide that you wanted to start this comp this particular company? Okay. Uh, like I said, I moved to Delaware. It's mm -hmm. very quiet there. I actually wanted something for my wall. Okay. I, my, I wanted something for my wall in my basement. Okay. So, I started drawing the human form. Uh, I made two or three. My husband and my brothers, they was like, wow, these are nice. Mm -hmm. You know, you could possibly make some money with this. So, again, being home and retired, I started doing more and more experimenting. Like this one here. I gave her a boa. <laughs> Fancy. Yes. The good life. The right. good life. The good life. Which I'm living right now. Right. Good. So, uh, I had a lot of construction paper in the basement, a lot of embellishment. A lot of good ideas. Yes. <laughs> because what I do, uh, I'm a scrapbooker as well. Okay. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put this to some more use. And hey, maybe I can make a dollar out of it. Look, and that's how we got brown girls yeah, today, right? Absolutely. Now, where can they go to? You have a website? Yes, I do. Okay. I am www.browngirlsbigcartel.com. Okay. So, at G you know, come on. Yeah. Okay, make sure you support. Yeah. Check out the website, get you some art pieces, you know. <laughs> and, you know, support independent black businesses, everybody. That's what we're here for, yeah. and that's what we're promoting here today at the Black Expo. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. We'll be right back with more. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we got a little mixture here. Don't stop it. We got the corrections department. That's what I'm saying. Away. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am standing here with the bravest and the boldest of New York City with the corrections department. And we have another individual from the New York City Department of Citywide Administrative Services, or DCAS for short. Yes. So we're here. They're here today to recruit, to get more people to join in, to, to join their organization, to find out about the different job opportunities, and just to let them know what is happening and the exams coming up actually also as well. So I'll let you, so who wants to start off and give us some information? Okay. Hi, hi everyone. I'm Officer Moltz, um, again with the New York City Department of Correction. Um, we're excited to be at the New York 2016 Black Expo. We're located at Booth 304. Um, so come by and see us so you can get some exciting and rewarding information about joining the boldest. Right. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? My name is Officer Rowe, and uh, again, very excited to, uh, you know, help you out. Join the boldest. Join the boldest. Join the boldest. They need, because you need people. Some people get a little scared now because of climate, but you have to come and talk and really learn more about the opportunities and realize that people are really here to serve and, and to do the right thing. So don't be scared by that. Just come and join, find out more, do your best, do what you can to help your country and, your, and the people around you as well, okay? Hi, how are you? My name is Officer Zacharias. Um, the exam should be coming out in October. So if you have, want any information, definitely reach out to us. Um, we'll put you on our mailing list and just kind of keep you in the loop and when to register for the exam. Okay, would you like to say something? Hi, I'm Officer Frederic uh, with the New York City Department of Correction. I'm a 10-year veteran. I'm very, very excited to be here at the 2016 uh, Black Expo. If you have any questions, you can email us at theboldest at doc.nyc.gov. And what do you find most rewarding about your job? I'm going to come back to you as well. But anybody want to say some of the rewards that they feel by being a correction officer? Your own personal, real quick? Um, we offer um, great benefits. Um, just everything. Uh, we just got a new contract, so we did receive um, salary increases. Um, so that's always wonderful. <laughs> always a good thing. Anything you want to say that's the benefit of being a correction officer? As far as stability is concerned, right. you know, with the economy being the way it is right now, you know, um, being able to join the boldest Department of Correction and actually have a stable job, right. yeah. you know, is very, very important. Very important. It lives that right now. Right. Is there anything you'd yeah, like to definitely. add? Um, well, me only having about four years in the department, that's one thing that you can do after you finish successfully complete your two-year probation. There's room to grow. Mm -hmm. um, you could take the captain exam after you um, complete your two-year probation. You could start uh, becoming a captain after three years. Well, wow. after when you two become great. Hit three years. Now, is that based upon like having college credits or experience, or it has to do with how your job performance is once you join? Well, once you take the exam, once you finish your probation, mm -hmm. it's a test you have to take. Okay, in order it's to an be exam. Yeah. Okay. Anything you would like to add? Also, with regard to salary and benefits, our salary and benefits are in line with the New York City Fire Department and the New York City Police Department. Wow. There is no difference in salary. Mm. That's great. Okay, now tell us about your organization. So I work for the New York City Department of Citywide Administrative Services, which is kind of like the overseeing agency for all the 80 agencies within the city. So when we talk about exams to work with the city, we're the ones that develop those exams. Okay. So if you want to work with corrections, you kind of have to come to DCAS to take those correctional exams. And so we put out our exam schedule every year from July to um, to June. We haven't put out our, our schedule this year yet, but that's great because you didn't miss anything. Good. So go on to our DCAS website nyc.gov slash dcast learn about the exam process sign up for the exams newsletter and come join the city right be a part of the bravest and the boldest everyone check them out make sure you support and i'm going to talk to her some more off camera we'll be right back with more <laughs> hi everybody i'm standing here with lee bailey she is the owner of let me go to the back access business center and she also manages what is it the office and what nj office nj and she has a great idea. Your company offer, offers office space, actually, access center where people could come and rent the space and have meetings. Um. They have meetings. They have, um, there's a virtual office space so that they can have um, their phones answered. We also provide mail handling services right. and um, conference room time. Okay. And then they also tell us about the other opportunity that they can get through. 
Well, well they have an opportunity to share their office, an office space. So they, it gives them an idea of having a big company, but they're, they'll have um, access to um, administrative services. They'll have access to a conference room. They'll also have access to the, um, the whole service. Any type of office, that, like you need, if you need somebody to answer your phone, take your messages, type up memos, manuscripts for you, um, handle your calls. Do they make do they make travel arrangements and things like that? Like you have your own personal administrative assistant, but you're just sharing it with different companies that actually yeah. rent the services as well. But it saves you the time of having an interview and, and you know and find somebody to help you out do that. You join this company or you get your services through this company. You have access to the different staff and the different services that they offer. So is there a website or people some place that they can go to to find out more information? Yes, the website is officenj.com. Okay. And this is Miss Lee Bailey, y'all. She is the owner of, of the Access Business Center, and she manages Office NJ. Thank you for talking Thank with you. us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be right back with more. Hello, everybody. I'm CNN here with the founder of the Black Expo 2016 here at the Sheraton Hotel, Mr. Mark Anthony Jenkins. Correct? Yes. Mark. Okay. All right. Now, give us a little background on what made you want to start the Black Expo and what are your expectations for this year? The number one reason why I wanted to start these expos is because I find out when I've been doing my networking mixers, uh -huh. African Americans, Caribbean Americans, and Africans do not market them services to get business. We have to do events like this to people to come out, come out but right. and that's why I did the expo. Now, it was done many years ago by another gentleman uh -huh. in the 80s, but he retired and um, went to the wayside and I said, you know what, let me learn this business. So I worked in the industry for other companies, okay. smaller businesses, and then I said, wait a minute, I can do this for ourselves, and that's why I did it in 2013. Uh, 2014. I skipped 2015 and came 2016 to bring it bigger. And next year is now no more one days no more. No more. Now it's gonna be two days. Okay, two day event. Now, I know you mentioned Jacob Javits. You did it there before? No, 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 no. no, no that was the other guy that did it before. Okay. No. All we did was we went to other two locations, other hotels in the city here. We didn't get to the Jacob Javits yet. Okay. Now this year I walked around. I see you got a variety of some great businesses here. You also have your own company as well. Tell us about your company. Well, we do a couple of things. I have black. I run black. Expo America. Okay. And Black Expo America brings you the same expo but multiply in other cities. Mm. So we're in New York, Philly, DC, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, Detroit. Boston, and I'm now working on, he told me Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. And that's what we're working on. Man, it's expanded so much. Yeah. Now, for this year, I mean, we got a lot of businesses here. What is, like, the end result that you hope happens after the Black Expo? Well, I want people to walk away with um, a sense that, wow, if they can start a business, then I can start one, too. Right. Some people don't People. Some people don't even get that far. They'll see everyone else start a business, but they won't do nothing themselves. True, so I'm true. trying to encourage people to start their own business as well. Right, and support black business. Businesses as well. So right. How important it is. I think Maggie Anderson's her speech yes. was so important. She gave statistics about how much of our money go into helping yep. other cultures and okay. how we need to kind of retain that. Zero is ours. That's right. So right. I mean, it was very important. We got a lot of that footage of her speech, so we will be showing that, and we hope that people do get a lot out of it. Now, what is going to be the next one? Is this going to be an annual event for you? Is it only going to be in New York? Annual event. It's going to be an annual event. This is we're ending this one here. The next one it will be in October. 8th in Philadelphia okay. at the um, First District Plaza. Okay. And then we'll be on October 23rd in Newark, New Jersey for the Newark Black Expo. Okay. And that's going to be at the Robert Tree Hotel. That's nice. Now on your website, if they go to your website, they'll be able to get the, the information for the upcoming events as well? Right. Well, the, the one website is up now is NewYorkBlackExpo.com but if you go to PhillyBlackExpo.com and NewYorkBlackExpo.com you'll get the information for all the uh, other cities as well. Okay, great. Well, thank you. I think this is a great Great event. I think it hopefully we'll start supporting more black businesses and you know making more opportunities for our own. And thank you so much, you know, for putting thank this you. together. I know it takes a lot of work and I know you face a lot of challenges doing it as well. So I definitely want to say, you know, kudos to you for that. And we'll be back with some with much more footage, everybody. Black Expo 2016. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
everybody, this is Deborah Coco, and I'm standing here with Kerry D. Singleton of Kerry's Corner on FLO Empire Radio. And he's here, he got the booth table, everything laid out. He also got a hot magazine that he's talking about. So I'm just going to let him explain. Tell us about your show. Just give me the mic. I am. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to do what the show says. Just give me the mic. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, shout out to Just Give Me the Mic. Shout out to you, Deborah Coco. You're looking fabulous right now. She got the laminate going. Yes, okay, we, we, sure. we got our laminates on, right? Right. We right. here, Ooh, we here right. at the New York uh, oh, Black look, Expo. Look, we laminated. We laminated. We laminated. Damn it, <laughs> damn it. So we're here at the New York Black yeah. Expo that 2016. Um, I'm repping Intrigue Magazine. I'm the senior vice president of Intrigue Magazine. Nice. Uh, such an honor uh, that uh, Dwayne Butler, the publisher, and Greg Turner uh, gave me this position. So I'm, I'm making it work. I'm making it work. I also got a column, the Kerry's Corner column inside the magazine where I basically write articles about the artists that I uh, interview on my radio show okay. the Kerry Scott radio show which is on FLO Empire Radio every Monday 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on Wednesdays on One West Radio in Los Angeles California 10 p.m. to midnight nice. Pacific Standard Time so I'm just working I'm also uh, promoting that Body Rush single by uh, Julia Robertson and Norm yeah. Adams I see something on the table in regards to that let's keep that up Okay, yeah. tell us about so that. This I'll hold this because your hands are getting full. I know. You just, okay. just give you the mic, right? right? right. So go. this is the Body Rush single, Julia Robertson and Norm Adams. Number 10 R&B single right now. Oh, wow. And I'm not supposed to say this, but I rock with Blacksmith like that. One Grammy nomination under the belt already. Wow. Yeah, but Salute we can't announce that. it officially. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, one Grammy nomination. So we're working hard. Wow. I try to be like home when I grow up. You know what I mean? <laughs> I look up to that brother. Up. He's taller than me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I'm just happy to be here at the New York Black Expo 2016. Okay. Shout out to uh, to Mark Anthony for putting right, it together. Right. And for so, so many great vendors. So much great stuff going on. I mean, you have the New York City Department of Corrections right here. Right. They're here. You have so many great businesses. Um, Brown Sugar called Kanai. Black History Memorabilia. Everybody's here. Everybody's showing unity, love, and support for each other's products. And that's really what it's all about. That's the purpose of us being here. Now, where's the website that they can go and check out your show? FLOEmpireRadio.com forward slash Kerry's Corner. That's K-E-R-I-S K. O R N E R and Intrigue Magazine, of course, is at intriguemagazine.com. All right, Carrie, thank you for talking to me. We'll be right back with more, y'all. Black Expo 2016. Yeah. Let's 
nice to Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. <laughs> Coco and I am standing here with the owners of Shifty People. That's what called Shifty People of Shifty People, Mr. Derek Scott and OG Poe Rich. Wow. And they, I said it right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and they're going to tell us about the company now. Before we get into these great designs that you got, because you have several different designs, tell us about the concept of the company and how it began. Okay, basically. Um, it's a personal issue. Okay. <laughs> because basically everyone has a shifty person in their life. Right. And our our concept is we're not shifty. We go against shifty. So therefore, you got t-shirts like this. We're anti-shifty. We're definitely anti-shifty. <laughs> right, right. So, I mean, um, we have just we just have a variety of designs mm -hmm. and we've been selling overseas in the UK and um, China and basically the United States is just starting to get it so we're here right now at the Black Expo and I'm happy to see Deborah Coco thank you for making it happen right. um, we all over social network I, I, I hope everybody's tuning in because she is the best. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, you know, Shifty's a great company. It's basically expressions that leave impressions. You'll find a whole bunch of different designs that you might feel that for that day might suit the purpose. It's almost like it's telling about your moods. It's like a self-expression type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you come up so do you come up with like slogans or do you like where do you come up with some of the wording that you use on your actual shirt? Definitely create it. We have a Pinterest account. If you okay. go on there, you got shifty thoughts on Pinterest and we're on Twitter, Instagram, you name it, we're there. Under shifty people? Shifty people. Okay. So I mean we all over the place and we're just trying to grow each each week. So now how long has it been since you started the company? Two thousand and fourteen we actually started. Okay, so it's still but it started it started selling in the UK. Wow. And How did you actually get to promote it overseas first versus promoting it here? Because unfortunately, 
the United States didn't get the concept. Okay. But my search engines was going towards the UK, and then they got it, and then they started buying it. Okay. And we stole like over 900 shirts in our first year. Oh, wow. Sometimes it takes a while before you can start seeing returns, you know what I mean? All stuff like that. Exactly. exactly. So what happened, I start writing the quotes to get people to know what shifty is, because a lot of people say shady. We don't want to say shady, because it actually means shifty. So I'm trying to get the word out that shifty means exactly the same thing. Okay. Like I said, we, all of us have a shifty person. <laughs> right. We all do. We all should be able to relate, because, I mean, if you out here dealing with people, I don't see how you cannot. Not everything is perfect. Not everybody is out here telling you what it really is. Right? Oh, you're right. Pretty much. And, and, and the impression will leave the expression or the expression will leave right. an impression. Now, which one? Do you have a favorite? Like, do each one of you have a favorite shirt? And, and tell us why. Once. Okay. I love that. You know, so this is a shifty, this is a brand new one that just came out. No one, y'all got the exclusive. I like that. Stick Thank your tongue you. out. Exactly, because they shifty. Right, right. And then you have the skull. I like that. I you look at the skull. Spitting out shifty people. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so you understand? You like right. you got to spit those shifty people out your life. Right. <laughs> so that's there. You have it, and you know, then you have, then you have this. I love the designs. I really, really love the variety and what you have. Then you have these. If you look at it, don't. What is it? Don't, don't get mad, mad because my feeling, my, my, my truth hurts your feelings. Right. And how many people you tell the truth and then their feelings is they hurt? They can't take it. They can't take it. <laughs> so, I mean, like I said, we're trying to get global. Okay. We're really trying to get global. Well, it looks like y'all started off on the right note when it comes to that. Yeah, we definitely did. So, okay. I'm just like I said, I'm pleased with what we're doing, but I'm not satisfied. Oh, no. This is only the beginning. <laughs> yeah, you haven't even re reached the first five year where you get to really see when you the dust settles a little bit you and you start taking before you run right right so anything you want to say to people that support shifty people look out for shifty we're definitely coming to an area where you could get this um product and um support us when you can and it'll be a great thing right all right y'all don't be part of the shifty people be somebody that supports and show love y'all we'll be right back deborah coco support look them up on social media contact them buy a shirt check out the slogan and we'll be right back with more, y'all. Respect. Respect, right. Hi everybody, I'm standing here with Mr. Charles Macy at his company TripVax. We're going to learn some information about what he has to offer and you can give us some background on the company and what you do. So, uh, how you doing? This is Sister Coco. Thank you. Splendid person, love her to death. Thank you. Uh, so TripVax is a, a premium service travel company. Uh, we're based out of Jacksonville, headquarters down there, but we have agents basically around the United States. And um, anything that you want, wedding, you know, destination wedding, uh, Group travel, um, family reunions, we have villas, private jets for you big timers. Oh, wow. Yeah, we do it all. There's nothing that we can't cover. Any range, okay. Yes. So, so with that, like, say if I wanted to take a trip, and I said, let me call Charles. I want to go to Punta Cana, somewhere. Okay. Now, what would you offer me? Like, how does it work? Okay. So, I would find out basically where you want to go. Mm -hmm. um, I would find some five-star resorts for you. You know, top of the line. You know, no cheap yeah. stuff. But I, but I would also look for the best deal for you. Okay. So, that's how that's going to work. So, your company itself has, like, discounted rates and services that you offer to people that do you have to be a member in order to receive like good rates no not at all okay. I mean it's one thing to be a travel agent which is something else that we can offer you but as a customer we're gonna treat you with the best it's okay. like you were going to any other travel agency and we're gonna find you like I said we're gonna find you the best deals okay. so you just let us know the days that you want to go we'll give you the best seasons and we'll come back to you and see if you like those options now say if somebody wanted to become a travel agent you know pursue this as a job opportunity like, how, is it easy to do, hard to do? Is it certifications? Like, how does that work? Yeah, not at all. It's not hard. Even on a part-time basis, uh, you get certified to become a travel agent online. It doesn't take long, and it's, and it's pretty inexpensive, to tell you the truth. Oh, it is? And we have okay. the best of the best as far as training. You know, okay, my, my CEO, Mr. Cayman Blackwell, actually used to work for JetBlue. Okay. So his background is in business development. So we, we know what to do. Okay, good. Now, where can we go, like, to find out information from you or to get general information about, you know, you can look up and read. Where would they go? So you go to www.tripfacts.com, and you can also go to any of the social media. Thank <laughs> you.
get that all on the bill? <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. So basically, or you can contact me. I'm on Facebook, as you know, Charles Massey. Right. CM Business 64 is on Instagram. So I'm all over the place. All right, y'all. Trip Facts. Make sure you contact this man to, to book your trip today. We're here, y'all. Black Expo 2016. We have so much more for you. We'll be right back. Thank you. This is Deborah Coco, and I'm standing here with the wonderful Carl Kanai, legendary in the industry as far as I'm concerned, as far as fashion. Yes. I know in 1989 you started your whole company, and you felt that there was a void of something that of going on in fashion, and you wanted was no lack of self-expression and clothing and things of that nature. Yes. So give us a little background on that. Well, basically, the reason why I got into fashion, I felt like we were just only consumers back in the days. Right. We weren't using any clothing advertisements. We didn't find any African-American designers, any of the main department stores right. so we want to change and do something about that you know it's one thing to complain about it next thing is to do something about it exactly. and we want to go out there and show that we could provide for our own mm -hmm. make our own clothing and be another force in the industry just like Tommy Hilfiger Ralph right. Lauren and all the other guys that's right and you came through you ended up getting investors and you know building your brand was that an easy thing for you to do I know you were young yeah. you probably didn't have too much guidance as far as how to start it and what to do like yeah. how was that for you it was very tough and very difficult but I'll tell you what though Growing up in the streets of Brooklyn, New York, taught me everything I need to know. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's taught me more than any college could ever teach you. Mental toughness and business and resistance and having that will to win. I think really that's it because joining that crowd of people who give up is very easy to do. Because right. anybody right. can leave right now and give up. But sustaining and working hard every day is the key. And the only reason why I found investors is because I already had my movement going already mentally. Okay. A lot of time investors, they don't want to jump on a train that's not moving. Not too early. They yeah. want to wait. They want to wait until you see things are going on already. Right. And that's the most consistency, you want consistency and, yeah. and dedication. They can right. see within you that hard work and t tenacity that takes to work it and then they want to invest in you and at a certain they point. Yeah, exactly. They want to invest. They want to invest. how serious and yeah, passionate you Because you got you things are. going on. Exactly. You, exactly. you got to fulfill that passion, put it out there and people believe in you at the same time. So what do you think about fashion today? We've seen a great fashion show just now. Awesome, awesome fashion show. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on, you know, some of the new expressions and, and your movement as well? Like what are some things that Carl Kanai wants to do today? Well, the, first of all, the fashion show so today was amazing. Amazing. Black right. designers are a whole other level. We got to go out there and support these designers. Exactly. You know, you know, they could be the next Tommy Hilfiger, the next Ralph Lauren, just like myself. But they need the power of the people to support their movements. They need I think behind. fashion is getting better now. It's very creative today. Yeah. What I saw, as far as my collection, we believe in basics. Okay. You know, basics is something that's going to sustain your company. We got the basic jean, right. basic T-shirt because right. people that's commodity. Yeah, I, yeah right. people continue to buy those products okay. over and over again. So the hardest thing to do is establish your name and your brand. Yes. Your name is the greatest asset you could ever know. It's greater than gold. It's a brand name. So you got to sustain your name and put it out there. Yeah, yours is gold right now. Yeah, definitely. You definitely got that. And this is like one of the first designs for you, right? Absolutely. Like when you came out. This is your, your I, mar yeah, marquee yeah. Kanai signature. That's this right. In, in any brand that you do, you got to have a logo that people can remember. Right. And the logo needs to be consistent. The visual is very visual, important. Yes, right. If you think about Ralph Lauren, you think about that horse. Right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Polo. Yeah, like, polo. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to have something that stands out. Right. People so can remember. You definitely have that. Yeah. Now you have your website. Is it www.callcanai.com? Callcanai.com. Okay. Yes, it is. Make sure you check them out. I know the fall line is it out already. Fall line is out. Okay. Being stores. We're going to be in Macy's and Bloomingdale's coming up. So feel really good about that. We got Call Kanai shoes coming out this fall. So we got a lot of things in the work right now. Feeling really good about things. I'm feeling really good. I'm going to check you out and support. And thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. We'll be right back, y'all. So much more to show. Deborah Coco and Call Kanai. <laughs> I appreciate that.
This is Deborah Coco again, and I'm standing here with the lovely D Donna Michelle. She has this great magazine, Donna D Michelle. D Michelle is the name of the magazine, and she just did a wonderful job of hosting the fashion showcase that they just had. So, can you give us a little background about you and your company? Yes, uh, D Michelle is a fashion magazine for breast cancer survivors. Also, I'm a designer for breast cancer survivors as well. I am a breast cancer survivor, and so my magazine also talks about. About. A lot of information is very informative to give information on the diagnosis when women has been diagnosed with breast cancer. So, so informative. And plus, I bring fashion to the runway for breast cancer survivors as well. That's a wonderful thing. Now, how long have you been in business? How long have you had the company? I've had the company for two and a half years. Okay. And so this year, October the 8th, will be our second anniversary for the magazine. Great. Three years for the designing okay. and two years for the magazine. Now, have you always designed, like been into fashion, used to be a designer, always growing up? I've always been into fashion as a fashion stylist. Okay. And so, you know, I always wanted to be a, a fashion designer right out, out of high school. Okay. But it came back full circle I see right you here. Today looking lovely. You know, this thank dress. you. This is one of my designs I have on here. It's the Mochelle's fashion designs. Yes. Okay. Did you have some lady? Did you have a show today? Some models came out with your clothing? Okay. Not this one, but there will be one. Um, October the 8th in Brooklyn. You can go to demoshell.com or you can go to demoshell um, at gmail.com for if you want to send any information. And also I'm on uh, Facebook because Donna Michelle Franklin. You can reach me on Facebook and Instagram, demoshell. Okay, great. Well, thank you for sharing, giving us that information. Make sure you check her out. Lovely clothes she got on and this magazine, support magazine. And do you have like a website that they can go to to see some of your designs? Yes. Okay. www dmochelle.com d-m-o-c-h-e-l-l-e thank you so much for joining us we'll be right back with more I'm standing here with Mr. Norman Cole and he's connected with the Circle of Sisters there's so many great events that's going on in New York and now for the first time he has the Circle of Brothers coming up so we definitely had to speak to him to find out more information about both events and you know thank you for joining us on the show well I'm glad to be here so what would you like to know I want you to start off with the Circle of Brothers because this is the first year and it's coming up real soon a lot of people don't know about it so I want you to give us more information on that well it's going to be September 17th from 11 to 4 and it's going to be on 93rd and Broadway okay. okay and if people want to know more about it just give us a call at 212-539-6020 and it's something that we're doing to promote the black family right. all right we'll have a lot of post workshops this is something where we want things to happen after the expo. Okay. When you come to us, you're going to meet black vendors. You can register for workshops. The idea is to go beyond an expo. To make, it a, yeah, make it a year-round project. Right. Uh, things that's happening in the black community now, we're not doing a collective. Mm -hmm. This idea is to bring us together as a collective and work all year long. That's great. And particularly attacking men. That's okay. why it's Circle of Brothers. We've got to do more. The brothers have got to step up. Right. And this is something we're saying, let's look at brothers stepping up, doing more on the family situation, doing more with females like yourself. Right. All right. We've got to take the lead. Right. We're not taking the lead enough. And that's what this expo is going after. We're not trying to be Circle of Sisters or Black Expo mm -hmm. or Harlem Week, any of those things. This, this, is, separate this, is, this is a different vision. Right. This vision is about learning. Right. This is about forming a collective. Mm -hmm. This is about making change all year long. Right. And I agree with that because it's some men may not have the proper tools or knowledge or, di or know the direction to go into certain, you know, to do certain things. So the workshops, having people there to provide information, I think that's a positive and a great thing for you to put together because no one else has done that. There's a lot of topics and issues that we face in the black communities and our families that, we, that are not being properly addressed. And you can't address everything, but intimate workshops addressing certain particular topics, I feel is 
very important. Well, that's what we're doing this for. So we're going to have a lot of personal and professional development workshops. Right. We're going to have guest speakers. But the idea is September 17th, you come through to register. Okay. You come through to meet vendors that you can give them business all year long. All year long. Now, right now, most of the expos, you come in, you give them business one time, it's over yeah. until next year. Don't want that. Okay. I want you to come in, meet that vendor, start a relationship, spend money with them for Christmas. That's why it's September 17th. Right. Get a relationship, spend money with them all year long. Good. You got to learn how to recycle, recycle the dollar in the black community, which we're not doing. Everyone else is doing it. We're Except not. for us, exactly. Now, how about the circle of sisters? What can we expect this year? A lot of women. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Last year, 50,000 women came through Circle of Sisters. Wow. And it was a good networking situation for women of color. Uh, CNS, Cold Network System, is their largest renter. Oh, wow. Uh, last year, we had 18 booths. Uh, this year, we'll probably have almost 30 booths. It's a collective. It's no one person. Yeah. It's vendors of color coming together, working as a collective. So we push that. All right. So And it's something that the collective will stay together after Circle of Sisters. That's right. That's All right. right. So again, it's a longevity. Got to have it. That's true. Any websites, anything you want to promote where people can get more information about both events? Well, they can go to uh, our website, which is being redone right now, but it should be up very soon. I have two okay. daughters. They okay. work for me. Okay, that's, that's right. That's, that's why you have kids. They <laughs> right. grow up to take right. care of things. It's uh, Cole Network System. Uh, dot com www.coldnetworksystem.com Okay. All right. Go to the website and uh, you can learn about a lot of things. Now, we've added something else this year with Circle of Sisters. We hired a spokesmodel from Ethiopia. Oh, wow. She'll be, oh, she is. She looks like Iman. She does? Yeah, she's going to be working our aisle, telling people how they need to become a collective, telling people about what we're trying to do as a collective. Right. Right. So we hired her as a spokesmodel. We got her from Los Angeles, from an agency. Right, and right. she's going to be there working the aisle and she looks gorgeous <laughs> great so look now you know what to look forward to when you come out make sure you go to the website to get more information register buy a booth come through show us what you have your businesses support we support each other and that's what the events are about and make sure you support Norman Cole also make sure you support him it's only $2 to get in. That's it? $2. We all can afford that, right? $2. Make sure you come out and support y'all. Thank you so much for talking with us today, okay? And we'll be back with more.
won't cry for you. I know hate is a seed that doesn't have to be deeply planted to grow wild. I won't water your garden to sit in a field of nightmares, wishing that my subconscious was deaf mute so I could dream in peace. I won't live with you in your glass house, windows made from sand and self-loathing, throwing rocks from the inside, waiting for an implosion, unafraid of storm clouds hovering over because you're waiting for integrate shards of hope into your living room sofa so you can sit on a happy thought. I'm selling my stock in Oregon shop because I refuse to see clean your curtains made from promises, twice run through a heavy duty paper shredder, pulling up the Persian mug because your Persian can't clean you blood fiddle. I'm going into the kitchen and lowering the dishwasher because that's the only time your glass is half full. I'll be back with an empty bucket so you can mop up the spilled milk on your hardwood. You are never satisfied. You are a simple sentence trying to use complex verbs, but I won't be your missing participle. I won't be another particle of dust shifting from mantle to coffee table because I've gone from past portrait to outdated periodical. I won't be your mirror. I see me when I look at you and I am tired of reflecting resentment. There's been only negative return on this investment. We are in the red, swimming in a sea of emotional debt. We need Moses to come part us. Leave our story on the ocean's floor like Pharaoh's army. I I wanna be where you can't find me. I wanna be a grain of sand in the middle of the Serengeti at midnight in a sandstorm in court. The coyotes heard me shaking, feeling an embankment. I wanna be planted. You want me to be a planter, but I won't stand and have any more dirt thrown in my direction. I won't let you use me as a shovel to dig a pit of self pity. It's time for you to bury your misconceptions. Time for you to stop blaming me for your life's projections. Stop telling a sob story. I won't be the missing punctuation at the end of your woman's new paragraph. Period. I won't be the clinic to draw the tears in the aftermath of your insanity. I won't be your poorly handled, half-hearted donations of love. You're not the Salvation Army and I'm not your charity. I won't be your sheep and you can't be my shepherd, leading me to become someone's dinner under the false pretense of needing my wounds to keep you warm. I won't protect you. I won't give you what you withheld from me. I won't be your blanket or your guard. I'm not your security. If I soak my prayers in breach, it still couldn't disinfect my soul. So I keep asking for forgiveness because I don't want to see you in eternity. I keep trying to forget because I don't want to see you in my but I won't hate you. I won't give you the satisfaction of having more fit to you. I won't water your garden with my tears or help farm your plantation of self-destruction. I've been enslaved by your misery for too long and this is my Emancipation Proclamation. Hello, my name is Mark Lanier, and this is my product, no, my nail liqueurs. The name is ML1979, as you can see. This is five free vegan products, no formaldehyde, no formaldehyde recin, no camphor, no toluene, and no dibutylphthalate. This is all made in the USA. What we're doing now is, well, at the Black Expo, we're giving many manicures along with the purchase of a product. Okay. Any website information? Or website will be up in two months. It's called ML1979. ML1979.com. We're on Twitter and also we're on Instagram as well as Facebook. All right. Good job. All right, y'all. Black Expo. We'll be right back with more. Hi, everybody. I'm standing here with the owner of Christy Styles, which is, I assume your name is Christy. Christy. Okay. So I'm going to pass the mic and I'm going to let her tell us about her company. Hello everyone, my name is Christine and I'm the owner and operator of Chrissy Styles Boutique. My boutique is an online store for full figure women. We specialize in affordable plus size clothing. We have all our fashion jewelry, we, have, we sell hats, and we offer free two day shipping online. So we want everyone, my job here is to empower the plus size women to make them feel confident and show off their curves. So I want everyone to check me out. My website is www.chrissiestyles.com and again it's free two day shipping online. Ooh, that's a, that's definitely a plus. So what, how long have you had your business? I've been in business now for a year. Okay. But that's good. And you're already here. You're showing off what you have. And look, what is your best selling piece? So these, how do you obtain your pieces? Tell us really quick about your clothing. Wow, this is pretty. Yes. Oh, I like that. I love the jumpers. Jumpsuit. Yeah. This jumpsuit is for every day, you know, a casual Saturday out with your husband or your spouse or whoever. That is pretty. And I also have dresses for the 
workforce. I have dresses for the older lady, women of a particular age group. This mm -hmm. is a workforce piece, right. you know. And I also have things for the club ladies. You know, I have this. This is my. This is really hot. I've been doing real well with this. I've had to restock it. Yes, this is definitely something to show off your girls. And I'm not talking about your breath. Your breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thank you. And look at the jewelry. The jewelry is also on display here. I love some of these. These pieces are really, really nice. Remember, everybody, two-day shipping. Yes. Free. 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 You can't shipping. beat that. Free two-day shipping on the clothes and a one- to three-day shipping on the jewelry. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your information. Make sure you support. We are still here, still getting these interviews out. Black Expo 2016. We'll be right back. How you doing? My name is Kiara Green. I represent Soul Seeker Apparel. You can find us at soulseeker.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Soul Seeker. Um, we're basically a family-owned, Brooklyn-based business that empowers uh, self-image and self-empowerment for black women and black, black males. And we just want to put a, a positive image out there in the world just so that we have something other than, you know, basic skulls and bones and just embrace everything about our people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, support. Make sure you look them up. Support. I love the items and the pieces that we see here. We'll be back with more, y'all. Yeah, I'm like. My name is Nicole Grant Paul. I'm an artist out of Bridgeport, Connecticut. This is my artwork. I have paintings, sculptures, and ceramics. I do art parties for children and for adults. I have a Vita shop. You can see my shirts for sale. Um, that's pretty much it. Telephone number is 850-345-8463. If you want to purchase any of my items, get with me. Thank you. I'm passionate Mike. I'm Cassie with Cassie's Creations. I have make all, all natural body products, mango butters, cocoa butters, and shea butters. This is Fulgence Henry. He makes his own product line, um, handcrafted bracelets. We're located at The Loft in Brooklyn at 814 Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. We also have uh, Instagram with Aristocrats, and we also have uh, Cassie's Creations website, www.cassieschreationshn.com, where you can find us. You can find our product line, our bracelets, our body, body products, as well as contact us. And uh, the Aristocrats Instagram is uh, A W R I S T O C R A T S. That's the Instagram link. You can find us on Facebook as well. Uh, if you're interested in making a purchase, uh, you can basically uh, look up any design on my Instagram and send me an email. That's aristocratsny at gmail.com. That email is also listed on my Instagram page. You tell me what you like, and then uh, I'll take care of it for you. If you don't like a color, I'll I'll, I'll recommend stones, stone colors. Uh, I could customize it for you, add initials. So whatever you like, you know, we are fully uh, fully flexible in terms of our designs. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you for visiting the Rosa Crafts and the Cassis Creation. Thank you. My name is Janice Parker. I'm executive director here at the great place here called TLC, which is Total Life Changes. I am an independent business owner, five-figure ring earner, and I am excited to uh, um, present my company here at the Black Expo today. Now, if you want to come and join me, my phone number is 203-887-4955. That's 203-887-4955. Come see me. We want to teach you how to detox. We want to teach you how to be able to live healthy, grow a better in your own company by joining me.
50-50-50, we have the number one comp plan in the world and the number one product. See you at the top and not from the top. Thank you. Okay, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful time watching the Blacks Expo 2016 with us. Again, big salute to Mark Anthony for putting this together. Great event. Lots of vendors. Great show today. And I hope y'all come out and support next year. This is Deborah Coco. Just give me the mic and all grind entertainment. Big, big shout out to my partner, Carl Blacksmith. And we, you know, we'll see you again next year. Yeah, y'all. Goodbye.